beat the hydraulics. That's badass. Hey guys, it's Katie Kate on the homestead. And today we have been prepping for tomorrow when we do my outdoor enclosure. So I'll show you what we've been working on. These are the cedar posts that my neighbor has very generously brought over to use for this project. So today we were just cutting them down and stripping the bark off of them. Today I learned that wet cedar is a lot easier to strip than dry cedar. But we put in some elbow grease and we got it done. Here are some leftover ends that I'll be using as firewood kindling. You guys are gonna be so happy tomorrow. You have no idea. So the plan is to start early morning before the heat. We'll probably be at it at around 8 a.m. Um, my neighbor thinks it's only gonna take us, if it goes smoothly, about four hours, which is amazing to me, depending on how this tears out. So we're not sure once we start demoing this, how easily it's gonna come apart because of the cement footing that's laid in the bottom. So if it comes out in one piece and we can drag it and just throw it over there, it should go pretty quickly. If it crumbles and starts to fall apart, we might have to bring in a tractor with a bucket to deal with it but we're just gonna have to play it by ear and see how it goes. But it should be done by the end of the day tomorrow. I had purchased some fencing on Facebook Marketplace and we measured it out today and it looks like I am going to have enough to do the 51 feet of fencing that we have here. So the plan is to go from this corner post right here all the way across in front of the feed barn and back to that outbuilding where I will be putting a gate. And then we just have to fence in this little back, whoops, this little back part back here. They are going to have four times as much room and lots more to eat. I'm really excited for them. They have no idea what's in store. The next thing I'm going to be doing is reorganizing this area. We were discussing how these posts with the electric fence wire, they're only five feet apart and they could be a lot farther apart, which means I can technically take these same materials and make this area two, three times bigger. So once the front is redone and they have another area to go outside and graze, I'm going to be getting in here, um, dismantling this electric fence, pulling up posts and spacing them out to make this a much bigger area. So that's what I'm working on today. My next big build. I could not be more excited. And I'm also very, very grateful to have help because this definitely is a project that I would not be able to do on my own. So tomorrow while we're working, I'll shoot some video as I can. I'll try to get snippets here and there. And by the end of the day tomorrow, I will be unveiling a new, improved, upgraded enclosure for my barn animals. How lucky am I to have a friend of a friend that has an excavator. The equipment has arrived. Let's see how this is gonna work.
we're back and apparently we have to do a test hole to make sure the hydraulics are working before tomorrow. wild look at this water oh my god the water table is so fucking low that's why wow we should be my water table is low right about here no the water we're running in well that's what i'm saying yeah. i'm is your water table as low as mine no well, it could be damn that could be feeding my other well wow holy smokes the hole will be completely full. Three Just, feet. That's exactly what we want. This hole will be filled tomorrow. Oh, the way that water's running in, yeah. There might be a pipe here somewhere, maybe, that runs to that well. A pipe? It could be. I just can't believe how much water is filling it up. That's wild. That post will be right here, right on the edge of the ground, right here. Two hours and a few beers later, and this has got at least two feet of water in it. We'll check it in the morning and see if it's completely full. So stay tuned and check back tomorrow. Hopefully by the end of the day, I will be able to show you all the work that we got done. Fingers crossed, it goes smoothly. I'm already excited. So until tomorrow, happy healthy living. I'm Katie Kate on the homestead and I'll see you later. <laughs>